What is up Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. In today's video, I wanna give you some healthy hair tips for your locks and maintenance. So if you wanna hear those, then stick around. And yes, we are outside of our regular setting today. Normally I'm sitting down at home or somewhere, but today I thought I'd get out and get a walk in. And uh, yeah, so y'all are getting me on the move. And that is probably my healthy tip number one is just to make sure that you are getting good exercise and eating properly because what you do with your body and what you put into your body does affect the health of your hair and your skin and nails. And so if you want to have a healthy lock journey, then it is very important that you also make sure to pay attention to the things that you put into your body as well as the things and products that you put onto your body. And so getting out, getting some exercise in as well is also part of having a healthy lock journey and just making sure that you're taking care of yourself from the inside out. Going off of that first tip, another tip that I have is just making sure that you start your lock journey with the healthy foundation. Now, I've heard some people say in the past that locks is kind of the style that they wanted to get into when they didn't wanna to have to do anything with their hair. They didn't wanna to have to worry about maintenance and things that they had to when they were loose naturals. There is some truth to that when it comes to a reduced amount of maintenance and things that you have to do for your locks. But if you start with the healthy foundation, meaning that you're not going into your set of locks with hair that has severe damage and broken off from whether you've done chemical processes like perms or relaxers or you've done a bunch of dyeing and whatnot of your hair and processing your hair in that way so you want to start with the healthy foundation so that your locks start out from day one good to go and not damaged my next tip that i have is just to make sure that you are washing your hair regularly there's also a misconception that if your locks are dirty that they'll lock faster and that it's better for your locks if they're dirty y'all i'm telling you that might work for some people but for the general population clean hair is happy hair clean scalp is happy journey so keep your hair clean wash your hair regularly and make sure that you're keeping it clean on this journey my next tip is that you want to make sure that you are getting regular maintenance get your maintenance accordingly so you don't want to overdo it and you don't want to underdo it and i know that could sound confusing to some people because you're like well what is the what is the standard do i go at four weeks do i go at six weeks how long do i wait and that varies on the person that varies at what point in your lock journey are you a newly freshly locked locker or have you been locked for six months a year six years your maintenance schedule will change throughout your lock journey but it's important that you do do your maintenance when you need to do it you know if you wait too long you could risk thinning your locks out and just having issues with that. If you do it too often, you could also risk thinning and messing your locks up. So it's important to get into a routine and find it what that routine is. And that routine varies. It might not be the same as someone else's, but it's important to have a routine and to make sure that you're staying with it. Another tip that I would give for having a healthy lock journey is making sure that if you are going to dye your hair, whether you do it yourself, or you go to get it professionally done that you know. So if you're doing it yourself, make sure that you know what you're doing. Dye can be a great thing, but it can also be a horrible thing and jack your hair up, whether it is loose or whether it is locked. So if you're gonna do it yourself, make sure you know what you're doing. If you're gonna go to someone to have it professionally done, make sure that you're ready and knowledgeable about the care that comes after processing your hair and the upkeep that it's going to take to maintain your hair. Make sure that it's not getting brittle and frail and making sure that you keep it the way that it needs to be kept. My next tip, which is very important and does not need to be skimmed over, is how important it is to make sure that you keep your locks moisturized. Again, going off the last tip, whether your hair is processed or not, some people are just more prone to having extremely dry hair. I am one of those people that my hair just tends to be extremely dry. It is crucial to make sure that you keep your hair moisturized because nothing is worse than brittle, locks they can break off they can snap they can cause all sorts of issues like thinning so it's just really important to make sure that you have some type of moisture routine and that you do it periodically i'm not going to say that you need to moisturize your hair daily because i'm even guilty of not moisturizing my hair daily sometimes but it's important to moisturize your hair whether that's going to be some type of deep conditioning routine whether that's something as simple as making sure you're misting your hair with some water regularly or if you are into oils and you're putting oil on your hair to moisturize it there are many different forms 
forms and ways to moisturize your hair. What's important is that you are getting some type of moisturizing in. And another tip that I have for you, it is so important to protect your locks while you're sleeping. Whether you choose to wear a bonnet at night when you're laying down or you want to get a silk or satin pillowcase, just go ahead and wrap your locks up make sure that they are protected. It seems like something that's not that important. And in the short term, you might not even notice that there's much happening. You're like, I don't wrap my locks up and everything's fine. I promise you, nothing really is gonna happen initially. But over the long haul, if your hair is constantly rubbing on pillowcases and stuff like that, it can thin over time. It can cause dryness. It can cause all sorts of issues. So it's just a good practice to make sure that your hair is wrapped up and protected when you're laying down or sleeping. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up so that I know what type of content you're enjoying and also hit the subscribe button so that you can join the flock. And before you go anywhere, check out some of the other videos that have popped up on the screen. See you later.